Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another What If video. And today, Sonic What If video, we are doing part three of What If Mecha Sonic was good. Last time, we tackled the events of the early adaptations of our Mecha Sonic Sonic Media adaptation. Over there, we saw Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Mecha Sonic head back to Angel Island to see what the ruckus was, where they saw a couple Eggman robots, and the, and the Phantom Fury was pulled out. And thus, those Eggman robots turned into the horrible heavies, and they were all transported to Green Hill Zone. And that's because the heroes end up going ahead and go through previous zones alongside the new ones. Along the way, they end up running into Silver Sonic Mark II and Metal Sonic. And after clashing for a little while with them, it eventually got to the point where the heroes managed to go ahead and reprogram Metal Sonic to allow them to join their side, similar to how they did to Metal Mecha Sonic back in Part 1. However, unfortunately for them, Silver Sonic Mark II is still out there. And after Eggman ended up forming Silver Sonic Mark II to essentially head back to base, a curveball ended up being added, as when the heroes arrived in Mirage Saloon, instead of running into the Heavy Magician, they instead ran into Silver Sonic Mark II with the Phantom Ruby. Now, if you're wondering, and this is pretty much Silver Sonic Mark II portraying, man, uh, essentially an act of rebellion, essentially, as my uh, fan man studio said, yes, this is an act of rebellion, as think of the rivalry, like I said, if I remember back in part two, I specifically said the rivalry is simply similar to, say, Skur Sega Skirts' What If Emerald Survive. It's similar to Emerald in general in that What If, from Mecha Sonic and Silver Sonic Mark II. So I started Mark II's willing to do anything in order to be his rival. And thus he's willing to do stuff like destroy the horrible heavies and get the Phantom Ruby. Now if you're wondering how he pulled this off, essentially what the idea was, it's essentially he ended up going to the horrible heavies, managed to trick them, grab the Phantom Ruby for himself, and use it to completely destroy the horrible heavies. The problem is that Eggman doesn't know of this, at least not yet. And essentially, like my um Van Eggman Studio says, words can only describe how pissed off Eggman's gonna be once he realizes what Silver Sonic Mark II has done. But before we go ahead and get into this, make sure you guys go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what you thought of the first two parts, and if you're excited for part three. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive back into this what if where we left off. Silver Sonic Mark II uses the Phantom Ruby as a much better armor begins to surround him, shocking Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, Metal Sonic, and Mecha Sonic. As the armor begins to uh, attach itself to him, alongside this, his eyes become blood red, similar to the Phantom Ruby itself, as the Phantom Ruby is pulsing with power. And we see what Silver Sonic Mark II has become, as he is now upgraded as Silver Sonic Mark III. Alongside this, Silver Sonic Mark III, as he is now called, has grown in size and is much, much more powerful. Needless to say, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Mecha Sonic, and Metal Sonic are dumped out of it. As Silver Sonic Mark III now uses the Phantom Ruby and creates a Phantom Ruby illusion, and thus they now all arrive at Scrap Brain Zone from Sonic 1. Needless to say, they're all amazed. Sonic attempts to uh, super peel out and charges towards Silver Sonic Mark III. However, Silver Sonic Mark III simply kicks Sonic aside like he's nothing, and the Sonic is thrown back, hits the ground. Once this is where Knuckles attempts to go in for a punch in the face, as Metal Sonic charges at him as well. However, Silver Sonic Mark II simply punches Knuckles in the face and grabs Metal Sonic and throws him down to the ground and stomps on him, badly damaging Metal. Mega Sonic and Tails begin to attack as well. Mega Sonic goes in for a spin dash, throwing Silver Sonic Mark III back a little bit as Tails and grabbing him attempts to fly him up so we can throw him down to the ground. However, Silver Sonic Mark III is simply far too heavy for Tails to carry, and thus as he struggles to carry him, Silver Sonic Mark III simply spin dashes in midair and throws Tails on the ground and spin dashes on him, badly damaging Tails. However, Metal Sonic, Metal Sonic quickly gets back up and attempts to go in for an attack. However, Silver Sonic Mark III turns around into grabbing Metal Sonic by the throat. However, Mega Sonic comes in and punches Silver Sonic Mark III in the face. However, Silver Sonic Mark III retaliates using his upgraded finger guns and actually missiles, thus forcing Mega Sonic to dodge them. And once this is well, Mega Sonic will fight back with his lasers. However, it's meant to simply scratch his pant, shocking Mega Sonic. As Silver Sonic Mark III ends up grabbing Mega Sonic using the Phantom Ruby, Mega Sonic attempts to force his way out of it. However, it's pretty obvious that Silver Sonic Mark III is much more powerful. And nothing but grabbing him and throws him down to the ground and punches Mega Sonic in the face, damaging him, and almost knocking off Mega Sonic's right arm. However, he manages to get back up and quickly fixes his arm, only for uh, Metal Sonic to be thrown into him. However, Sonic quickly gets back up and uses another super peel off of by Spin Dash. However, Silver Sonic Mark III simply gets back up as if it's nothing, and ends up scoffing, and then seems to like going toward Sonic ends up grabbing him and throws him down to the ground and brings him up into the air, attempting to throw him down to kill him. However, Mega Sonic and Metal Sonic quickly fly up, however, and they manage to Spin Dash into him. Throwing Silver Sonic Mark III down, and the two of them manage to catch Sonic. However, it's pretty obvious that Silver Sonic Mark III isn't done just yet, as he uses the Phantom Ruby again. However, this time it creates uh, essentially the Phantom Ruby illusion with the horrible heavies. And they're all shocked with Sonic and Bastion. What did you do with the horrible heavies? However, Silver Sonic Mark III simply showed them an illusion, essentially showing them what he did to the heavies, and how he got the Phantom Ruby for them and managed to kill them all using it. 
It is to say, they're shocked. Knuckles attempt to punch Superfluent Mark III in the face. Have a Service Hunter Mark III grabs them and ends up throwing him down into the ground and ends up stomping on him, badly damaging Knuckles and almost breaking a few bones. However, Sonic, Metal Sonic, and Mecha Sonic and Tails all spin dashing them. Thus, Superfluent Mark III retaliates by attempting to use it to spin dash of his own. However, Metal Sonic really uses his Black Shield to protect them all. Thus, Silver Sonic Mark III, having enough of this, simply decides to go ahead and retreat, and thus he ends up flying back to meet up with Eggman. However, they quickly realize that this is definitely not part of Eggman's plan, and thus they decide to head off to Oil Ocean. Alongside this as well, Silver Sonic Mark III is heading over there to meet up with Eggman, essentially to get him out of the way, as he knows Eggman can be a big threat, as he's going to take down Mecha Sonic one way or another, even if it means betraying Eggman. And thus he arrives where Eggman is, and it's pretty obvious Eggman is pissed off. Eggman, upon seeing Silver Sonic Mark III, angrily stares at them saying, you incompetent piece of scrap metal. You destroyed the hard-boiled heaviest. All for what? A pathetic rivalry with a robot? Ugh, pathetic. However, before he could say anything else, he's punched down to the ground. Eggman is shocked by this. He gets up angry with him saying, What do you think you're doing? With venom in Eggman's voice. Silver Sonic Mark III simply attacks him. However, Eggman manages to go ahead and get inside his Eggmobile as well and gets back into the prototype of the Egg Viper and tries to fight back with it. However, Silver Sonic Mark III simply uses the Phantom Ruby and thus completely destroys the prototype, shocking Eggman as he stares terrified as Silver Sonic Mark III marches over to him. Eggman realizes he needs to do something quick, as he quickly hops into his Eggmobile and attempts to get into another machine of his. Have Silver Sonic Mark III just uses the Phantom Ruby again and destroys every uh, machine that Eggman has in there. Thus, Eggman is essentially trapped with only basic badniks left. And although these basic badniks attempt to attack, they're nothing compared to Silver Sonic Mark III. And thus, he uses the Phantom Ruby and thus completely destroys them all. Eggman realizes he needs to get out of here really quickly. Thus, he manages to create a distraction and thus manages to get away, retreating out of Oil Ocean. However, Silver Sonic Mark III decides now that Eggman out of the way, he can focus on Mecha Sonic alongside with the recent traitor, Metal Sonic. And thus, he ends up heading off. However, he gets the idea of essentially someone to replace Metal Sonic. However, he pushes it off to the side as that is made priority as he flies through Oil Ocean, ready to encounter the heroes. Now, that's how bidding is well. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Mecha Sonic and Metal Sonic now quickly make their way through zone through zone. At this point in time, they have around five of the Chaos Emeralds. They only need two more left. Those, in fact, being the red one and the right one, white one. And thus, they manage to go ahead and clear through the zone. However, at the end of it, Solar Sonic Mark III is, in fact, waiting for them, ready for round two, and uses the Phantom Ruby as well and transports them to another familiar location. That, in fact, being Metropolis Zone from Sonic 2. Sonic went up saying, Great, this again. And thus, they turn their attention back towards Silver Sonic Mark III. Sonic and Mecha Sonic attempt to spin dash. However, Silver Sonic Mark III simply raises up his hands and grabs them both and proceeds to use the Phantom Ruby again and creates Phantom Ruby illusion copies of the first Silver Sonic to attack Tails, Knuckles, and Metal Sonic to keep them busy. Alongside this as well, Silver Sonic Mark III as well creates Phantom Ruby uh, copies of the Hooligans. And thus, they all end up attacking Sonic and Mecha Sonic. However, the two they manage to quickly go ahead and take down Beat and Diamond, leaving only Fang left. However, he's not done yet, and Fang gets a fire multiple gunshot to them, now overpowered with the Phantom Ruby, as Silver Sonic and Mark III simply watches. However, Sonic and Mecha Sonic manage to go ahead and quickly get through this version of Fang, both of them spin dashing into him, and Mecha Sonic punching him in the face, destroying the illusion. However, Mecha Sonic is not done just yet. And the Silver Sonic Mark III quickly goes ahead and uses the Phantom Ruby once again to transport them somewhere else, that being Sky Sanctuary from Sonic 3. And the Sailor Land looking around as well, as the first Silver Sonic uh, Phantom Ruby illusion copy is now destroyed. And thus they turn their attention back to Silver Sonic Mark III, who embraces his hands to the sky and lightning pours out from his hand. Alongside this as well, the clouds begin to darken as well. Sonic attempts to spin dash into him, as does Metal Sonic. However, Silver Sonic Mark III easily dodges the attack, with him being faster than Sonic, using the Phantom Ruby to essentially try to slow down Sonic's speed. However, Sonic manages to kill with the attack with a super peel out. However, Silver Sonic Mark III appears right in front of Sonic and begins to choke him. However, Knuckles, Metal Sonic, and Mecha Sonic manage to go in and free Sonic from his hold. As Knuckles punches Silver Sonic Mark III in the face, doing a little bit of damage. However, not much. As Silver Sonic Mark III simply wipes the dust off his shoulders and then proceeds to attack Knuckles, spin dashing it to him, and then throws him down the sanctuary. However, Knuckles quickly really manages to uh, climb onto a wall and manages to begin a uh, climb up. Now, that's happening as well. Sonic continues to try to fight back against Silver Sonic Mark III. That's his Metal Sonic, Mecha Sonic, and Tails. However, it's pretty obvious they're struggling. And thus, after a while, Silver Sonic Mark III simply gets bored again. And thus, uses the Phantom Ruby. This time, teleporting them to the Death Egg. Essentially, a Phantom Ruby copy of it. 
It's pretty obvious here that they're all getting sick of this. And the Sonic attempts another super peel out while Mecha Sonic attempts a spin dash. However, Silver Sonic Mark is simply dodge the attack as well. Alongside this, creates Phantom Ruby copies of three Death Egg robots. And thus, they now have to focus their attention back on them. Mecha Sonic and Metal Sonic agree to take on two of them, while Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles go ahead and take on one of them, and thus begin to take them on. However, the Death Egg robots, the faint for being copies of them, have some unique quirks about them, specifically these ones, as they're now powered by the Fanger and come with far more attacks, and thus it's a much harder fight for them. As Solar Sonic Mark 3 uses more of the Ruby and creates more badness as well to attack the heroes, and this is a much harder fight. However, Metal Sonic and Mecha Sonic are managing to tear through all the badniks, one man army style, or two man army style in this case, as they're also managed to go ahead and take on their respective death egg robots. They're managing to damage more of them. However, Source on and Marty creates more fancy ruby illusions of more death egg robots. This year is so beginning to get surrounded. However, Knuckles is coming with the idea and grabs a piece of rubble and throws it down to the ground. However, however although some more of the death egg robots got destroyed, there's still five left. Alongside this, so that's not a Mark 3 isn't done just yet, as creates Fanta Ruby illusion copies of the classic Team Chaotix, alongside classic Mighty and Ray. That's an app to fight them as well, with Espio using his unique abilities. However, they're managing to go ahead and match them all, and Knuckles mad uh, managing to match them Mighty with his strength, and Tails managed to go into the sky with his version of Ray alongside Charmy, while Sonic, Mecha Sonic, and Metal Sonic deal with this version of Espio and Vector. And in the end, they managed to go ahead and destroy these Phantom Ruby illusion copies. However, it's still not an easy fight, but they managed to destroy their main Death Egg robots as well. Alongside this, everything switched back to Oil Ocean. Thus, Silver Sonic Mark 3 decides to go ahead and make her tree, and thus he flies off, ready to plan out his next move. While Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Mecha Sonic, and Metal Sonic make their way through the zone and head out to the next location. The heroes quickly arrive at Lava Reef as they quickly make their way through the zone. However, unbeknownst to them, Silver Sonic Mark 3 at the moment is attempting to steal the Master Emerald. This way, he knows if they get all seven emeralds, he can easily just use the master emerald to prevent them from using the emeralds. And that's because this, he's getting ready to take the master emerald. Alongside this as well, the heroes manage to go ahead and grab the red chaos. Emerald. All they need is white. And thus, uh, they quickly go ahead and make their way through, and they, and they go from the lava reef section to the hidden power section. And thus, they're going ahead and beginning to clear their way through. However, they notice Eggman and a new robot, essentially a Mark II of a Death Egg robot. Uh, Sonic and Co. end up approaching them with Sonic asking, so, Eggman, judging by how you're here in Hidden Palace, I'm assuming Silver Sonic betrayed you. Yes, unfortunately, which means that I need to deal with him. Really now? Well, might I suggest teaming up with us? And give me one good reason why I should. Well, you're kind of need to get Silver Sonic Mark III, as he currently is now, back under control, right? And we want to stop him. So if we team up, not only can you get Silver Sonic Mark III back to Silver Sonic Mark II under control, but we can stop him. See how it's a win-win deal? Mm. Fine, I'll work with you. Though, this only lasts one Silver Sonic Mark III use, loses the Phantom Ruby and he's back to Silver Sonic Mark II. Our alliance is over. Got it? You got it, Eggman. And that's because the heroes quickly go ahead and make their way through the remains of Hidden Palace Zone, and they arrive at the Master Emerald Altar, where they see Silver Sonic Mark III grabbing the Phantom Ruby and ready to go ahead and take it. However, before he, Silver Sonic Mark III can go ahead and take it, Knuckles ended up calling out to him, saying, What do you think you're doing? However, Silver Sonic Mark III simply turned to him, and he ended up firing rockets at them, forcing them all to dodge as the battle begins. The Master Emerald is now mine. The chance of your success is zero percent. Knuckles immediately a defensive as he doesn't want the Master Emerald against the wrong hands. I mean, he goes up and punches Silver Sonic Mark III in the face. However, Silver Sonic Mark III retaliates by kicking him in the chest and uppercutting him. Alongside this, he quickly goes ahead and uses the Phantom Ruby to make a Phantom Ruby copy of Knuckles. So Knuckles essentially forced to fight himself. And while that's happening as well, Sonic and Co. are forced to fight Bad Nix that Silver Sonic Mark III quickly made to distract them as he attempts to take the Master Emerald. However, Sonic quickly realizing what he's doing would attempt to spin dash on him. However, Silver Sonic Mark III dodges the attack over and kicks Sonic into a wall. Sonic attempts to use a super peel out. However, Silver Sonic Mark III uses the Phantom Ruby again and grabs him by the neck and throws him down to the ground, then kicks him into another wall and punches him through another wall. However, Metal Sonic comes and protects Sonic with a black shield before Silver Sonic Mark III can kick him in the face. However, Silver Sonic Mark III retaliates using missiles. However, Mega Sonic ends up coming in using lasers to destroy the missiles and managing to fire a few back at Silver Sonic Mark III who easily destroys them. He takes the remains of them and throws them at Metal Sonic and Mecha Sonic. He managed to dodge while grabbing Sonic. Mecha Sonic goes in for a spin dash. However, Silver Sonic Mark III 
easily dodge the attack, however, and ends up punching Mechasonic in the face and all, nearly ends up tearing one of his legs off. How he quickly manages to get back up as Metal Sonic charges forward at Silver Sonic Mark III and throws him into a wall and punches him in the face. However, Silver Sonic Mark III retaliates, spin dashing into Metal Sonic and grabs him and throws him into a wall, attempting to throw him back into the lava reef section. However, Mechasonic prevents that from happening by stopping him. Once says as well, Tails attempts to go in to help, however, Silver Sonic Mark III quickly ends up by punching Tails in the face, thus giving a two on one fight with both Mechasonic and Metal Sonic going through the lava reef section with Silver Sonic Mark III, essentially getting him away from the Master Emerald. And the Silver Sonic Mark III quickly realizes this. However, before he can go back to do it, Mecha Sonic essentially prompts him to come after them. And thus, Silver Sonic Mark III, to focus on his rivalry with Mecha Sonic, decides to go ahead and head after both Mecha Sonic and Metal Sonic. Thus, he falls after them, shooting missiles at them. However, the two of them manage to easily dodge out the attacks, however, and they manage to go ahead and kick. Silver Sonic Mark III in the face. However, Silver Sonic Mark III is not going down without a fight, and thus he grabs him, intending to throw him into the lava. However, Metal Sonic quickly uses his boosters and kicks Silver Sonic Mark III in the face. However, Silver Sonic Mark III ends up using the Phantom Ruby once again, and thus he changes uh, the area to essentially Lapras Zone from Sonic 1, and thus using his advantage, he's intending to trick them into going into the, the quote water only for it to be lava. However, both Metal Sonic and Mecha Sonic quickly realize what he's trying to do, and thus they spin dash into him. Alongside this as well, Metal Sonic grabs and attempts to throw him into the lava. However, he manages to dodge the attack, however, and does manage to grab a piece of rubble and throws them at both Metal Sonic and Mecha Sonic. However, they dodge the attack. And Silver Sonic Mark III decides to go ahead and abruptly end the illusion. And quickly goes ahead and uses uh, some um, tech, and thus he manages to go ahead and grab it and throw lava at them. Forces the two of them to dodge as he throws multiple uh, pits of lava at them. Forces them all to dodge. However, Mecha Sonic and Metal Sonic still manage to fight back and retaliate. With Metal Sonic going ahead, almost throwing him down to the lava. However, Silver Sonic Mark III gets back up, only for Mecha Sonic to punch him in the face, and thus he does land in lava, damaging some of Silver Sonic Mark III's armor. How quickly gets back up and uses the Phantom Ruby to get rid of the lava. From there, he ends up replacing it with rubble and throws it at Metal Sonic and Mecha Sonic, who barely manage to dodge in a tight space. How they manage to grab Silver Sonic Mark III ends up throwing him into a wall and kicks him in the face. However, Silver Sonic Mark III uppercuts them, and this ends up grabbing them and throws them down into the wall and proceeds to beat the ever living crap out of them using the Phantom Ruby. Ruby. Alongside this as well, he would make Phantom Ruby copy of the Hooligans as well, and thus it's just it being a form to fight. Think of it similarly to how Sonic was uh, got manhandled in Sonic Forces, and thus Metal Sonic and Mecha Sonic are struggling as they're getting an ultimate beatdown. Alongside this, Silver Sonic Mark III creates the original Metal Sonic, original Silver Sonic as well, destroy them as well. And thus, because as the two of them manage to get overwhelmed, however, they manage to go ahead and get through the illusions, and thus manage to go ahead and get Silver Sonic Mark III. Well, that's everything as well as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Eggman coming to help, having to deal with all the badness. But Sonic spin dashing into Silver Sonic Mark III. Silver Sonic Mark III beginning to get desperate, decide that he'll go after the Master Mark some other time, or just abandon it altogether. And this was one that ever intends to grab it, however, Knuckles prevents it from doing that. And the Silver Sonic Mark III decided to screw it, decides to go ahead and simply retreat. And thus, he quickly retreats while the other heroes follow after him. They've won, but in actuality, they have a slight miscalculation. As although they may have beaten me a few times, the real battle has only just begun, and their chance of success is 0%. The heroes arrive at Titanic Monarch, where the final battle is still going to take place. As we see, Silver Sonic Mark III are waiting for them. And thus, as they quickly go ahead and make their way to the zone, at this point, they also have gotten the White Chaos Emerald, thus they have all seven emeralds. And the Sonic, Mecha Sonic, and Metal Sonic are ready to go super if need be. And thus, they arrive where Silver Sonic Mark III is waiting for them. Silver Sonic Mark III is prepared for a fight, as they see him having more upgraded armor. As he uses the Phantom Ruby as well to trap them all inside the room. I won't say this as well, he really goes ahead and uses the Phantom Ruby to create a much larger version of himself. Essentially a mixture of Silver Sonic Mark III with a Death Egg robot, and thus he prepares to destroy them all. However, they're not going down without a fight as Mecha Sonic and Metal Sonic fly up and punch Silver Sonic Mark III in the face. However, he's not done just yet as he attempts to shoot missiles at them. However, they manage to go ahead and dodge the attack, but Sonic managed to redirect some of the missiles back at him. Once this is well, Knuckles manages to slide him off his feet, and Tails grabs some rubble and throws it down, as Eggman uses some technology alongside this, alongside with a couple of remaining badniks on him. However, Silver Sonic Mark III easily destroys the remaining badniks, freeing all the animals. However, he tends to use the Phantom Ruby as well to create more of his own badniks. However, Sonic spin dash into him, preventing him from doing that. Once this is well, both Metal Sonic and Mecha Sonic come from behind and kick him down in the back, forcing Silver Sonic Mark III to fall to the ground, however, he gets back up and he grabs both of them. However, Sonic quickly spin dash into him, forcing Silver Sonic Mark III to drop both Metal Sonic and Mecha Sonic. Once this is well, Knuckles comes in and punches him in the face. However, 
Some Sonic Mark ends up grabbing Knuckles and throws him into Tails and Sonic. And looks like this is what he manages to battle destroy the Eggmobile, forcing Emmy to fall down, thus leaving Metal Sonic and Mega Sonic to do a two on one fight. However, it's not easy. As once again, Silver Sonic Mark 3 uses the Phantom Ruby again to create multiple illusions. However, the two of them manage to break through. And looks like this Sonic manages to get back up as well. However, Silver Sonic Mark 3 is not done yet, and thus he decides to go ahead and quickly realize that he needs to do something quick. And thus he quickly goes ahead and upgrades himself more with the Phantom Ruby. This time being essentially a much more power version of a Death Egg Robot combined with his own armor. Thus, he is now Silver Sonic Mark IV. It's prepared for the final battle. Sonic, Metal Sonic, and Mega Sonic quickly realize what's about to happen, and they realize that they need to stop him. And thus, Sonic would up turning to both of them, but I'm saying, You two ready? And this is who them would nod their heads, and thus the chaos must pop out, and thus Sonic, Metal Sonic, and Mega Sonic transform into their super forms. The final battle begins as Silver Sonic Mark IV awaits for them. Super Sonic, Super Metal Sonic, and Super Mega Sonic arrive, and thus Silver Sonic Mark IV realizes that it's not going to be easy. Harry's he's prepared for the final battle, and thus he charges giant missiles and begins to shoot them at them. However, the thing they managed to dodge, and it's Sonic grabbing one of the missiles and throwing it back into him, damaging his left leg. However, quickly he manages to retaliate and attempts to shoot multiple projectiles at them. However, they managed to dodge, Sonic spin dashing him too. Alongside this as well, both Super Mega Sonic and Super Metal Sonic managed to go ahead and punch and kick him a couple of times. However, Silver Sonic Morpho manages to quickly get back up, however, and uses more missiles. Alongside a mixture of his much more powerful finger guns. Alongside this is where he begins to fire essentially drill attacks similar to the Egg Dragoon. How he managed to dodge attack as well as Sonic managing to grab one of them and throw them back into Silver Sonic Mark IV, damaging his right arm. However, he's not done just yet. So although some of his armor is beginning to break, he's not going down for the fight. He knows this. And thus he uses the Phantom Ruby as well to grab pieces of rubble, alongside creating more bad nicks, well, specifically bad nick remaining parts, and thus transforms it into a couple of knives and throws them at them. How they manage to go ahead and swiftly dodge with the attack as well. Metal Sonic using his black shoe to pick them all, now enhanced by a super form. And this because this as well, Super Sonic, Super Metal Sonic, and Super Mega Sonic all spin dash it to him. Throwing him back down to the ground as more of his armor is falling off. Along with this as well, the Phantom Ruby almost ends up falling off him as well. And thus, he realizes he needs to be more careful with it. And that's because of this. And then just go ahead and quickly get back up as well. So Silver Sonic Mark III managed to grab a uh, multiple pieces of rubble with his bare hands and throws him at the group. However, they managed to quickly dodge the attack with the trio now going down in a fight. And uh, so three of them spin dash into him. Along with this as well, Super Sonic uses a super peel out. And along with this as well, Super Metal Sonic will be spin dashing him while Super Metal Sonic ends up kicking him in the face, destroying more and more of his armor. Along with this as well, his head part is now destroyed, and thus his head reverts back to Super Sonic Mark II head. However, he's not done just yet. As more and more of his armor is beginning to fall off, though, he's not going down without a fight, and he's going to make sure of that. And thus, he uses the Phantom Ruby once again. This time, to try to go ahead and uh, upgrade his armor again, to essentially become Super Sonic Mark V. However, the heroes prevent that, however. Super Sonic, Super Metal Sonic, and Super Mega Sonic uh, catching the piece of rubble and throws them at him, essentially to damage him. And thus, more armor is falling off, so essentially his plans backfire as he's turning more and more and more back into Silver Sonic Mark II. And thus, begins to get desperate. And thus, fires multiple missiles and multiple finger guns at them. How they manage to go ahead and dodge the attacks off with Super Sonic charging it. However, Super Metal Sonic manages to kick Silver Sonic Mark IV back down to the ground as he's slowly reverting more and more back to Silver Sonic Mark II. And thus, he's beginning to get more and more desperate as Super Metal Sonic comes up behind and uppercuts him. Along with this as well, Super Mega Sonic grabs him and throws him down to the ground as Super Sonic spin dashes into him. And thus, Super Sonic Mark IV, almost down to Super Sonic Mark II once again, just so the Phantom Ruby realizes that it's essentially over and that he needs to plot an escape plan. However, before he can, Super Sonic goes in for the finishing blow, and although the Phantom Ruby is hit away from him, a portal opens, causing the chaos and once they essentially be separated from Sonic. As the Phantom Ruby and Sonic fall into this portal, shocking both Super Metal Sonic and Super Mega Sonic as they head out of their super forms as well. Eggman, uh, seeing this as an opportunity to escape, quickly goes ahead and grabs Super Sonic Mark II and manages to swiftly get away. Well, that's happening as well. Mega Sonic and Metal Sonic manage to escape as well, and they end up meeting with Tails and Knuckles. Tails and Knuckles end up asking him, with Knuckles saying, Where's Sonic? However, before they can say anything, they wouldn't realize something though. The ending essentially played at the same to the original Sonic Mania as well, with the four of them being shocked, and they realize wherever Sonic went, they hope he's alright, and he hope he gets back here soon. While well, that's happening, we see Eggman take the badly damaged Silver Sonic Mark II back to one of his secret bases, this time near Station Square. It's pretty obvious that Eggman's extremely pissed off at Silver Sonic Mark II, with him saying, You would covenant hug a chunk, 
all of this for a rivalry. Great, and because of you, even if I wanted to rebuild the hard-boiled heavies, I'm not going to be able to because you destroyed every last piece of them. Ugh, great. Now I need to make my next move. I could go after the emeralds again, but no. Though, perhaps I could revisit something from earlier. Unless Edmund quickly goes uh, back through his da database and potentially sees what he can go for next. That's not the Chaos Emeralds. And although he will land on the Chaos uh, rings from Knuckles Chaos as well, along with a couple other things, he remembers something, though. Specifically, Little Planet. Now, he might not specifically go after the time zones again, though we could potentially use them. He would thought, Little Planet only visits one time, visits one time a year. But majority of the time, it's in space. What if he uses that as potentially a new death egg? And thus, Eggman will smile evilly at the idea as he begins to go ahead and go over the idea. He quickly realizes that it is possible. Plus, he could also easily obtain the time sensor that way alongside this. And thus, Eggman smiles evilly as he begins to go ahead and work on these prototype versions. However, he turns back to Silver Sonic Mark II. And he does realize that, yes, he's going to need some upgrades. And thus, he decided to go ahead and to fully transform him into Silver Sonic Mark III. Now, with the fan now using, say, the Phantom Ruby Dead temporarily turns him into Silver Sonic Mark III. A full-on upgrade where he's permanently Silver Sonic Mark III. However, he also knows that now that Metal Sonic is on the hero's side, he knows that now he's going to need a replacement for Metal Sonic as well. He just has to make sure his rivalry with Metal Sonic, if he has one, is going to be as intense as, say, Silver Sonic Mark II, soon to be Silver Sonic Mark III's rivalry with Mega Sonic. And thus, he begins to also work on a Metal Sonic replacement. And thus, he manages to come up with a name. That name being Shard, as we see his design concept. As we see him specifically being made with black and yellow paint and that's the end of part three so i hope you all enjoyed this video make sure you guys go ahead like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below what you guys thought of part three and if you're excited for part four and also what did you guys expect did you expect silver sonic mark 2 to transform into silver sonic mark 3 and then silver sonic mark 4 did you expect metal sonic to go super with mecha sonic and sonic or how about say silver sonic mark 3 or 4 as it's just trying to go ahead and take the master Allen for them Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment on what you thought of it, and if you guys are indeed excited for part four. And I'll see you all in the next one.